why do women experience irregular periods see irregular periods is one of the very common reasons that women come to us in our outpatient department and also it is one of the very common reasons that they are subjected to biopsies or maybe hysterectomies but depending on different age groups the reasons are different firstly the physiological causes let us look at why irregular periods happen initially when the period starts that is the time of menarche it takes time for hormones to stabilize your uh, hypothalamo pituitary axis it is called it takes time to stabilize so maybe for one or two years irregular periods is a normal thing for women who are nearing menopause that means they are going to end their menstrual cycle in their last one or two years also irregular periods is considered to be normal but other than that in the reproductive age group in that life span when there are chances of pregnancy first and foremost what we rule out is pregnancy even if you say that uh, there are no chances of pregnancy if you see a gynecologist and you go with irregular cycles first thing she will ask you is to rule out pregnancy other than that it can also be an ectopic pregnancy if you are sexually active other than that there are hormonal causes and one of the very common reasons that we see in our daily practice is high rising incidence of polycystic ovarian syndrome which is commonly called PCOS or PCOD other than that thyroid imbalance maybe hyperprolactinemia then uh, factors that influence your hormones that is excessive weight gain or losing weight very suddenly or maybe you are anorexic or you are eating too much uh, are also some factors which will influence then uh, the kind of stress uh, stress in your daily routine also alters your periods uh, other than that there may be structural causes maybe we do an internal checkup and we find out there is a cervical polyp there is a fibroid polyp or there is a local lesion in the vulva or the vagina which is leading to bleeding so it is very important to do a clinical examination when anyone comes to us with irregular periods there can be fibroids in the uterus which can lead to such problems even there are uh, occasionally ovarian tumors that produce hormone which will lead to irregular periods so there is a vast differential diagnosis but a good history taking will help us find out what is the cause of your irregular periods but of course the most common reason is hormonal only there are women who take oral contraceptive pills uh, for contraception some of them take even i pill which is an emergency pill and they don't know what is the correct use this also leads to irregular cycles and it takes few months for it to stabilize too much of smoking too much alcohol intake inadequate sleep doing work uh, overnight there are women who work in night shifts so for them the circadian rhythm gets disturbed and this also leads to irregular menstruation what would be the treatment and home remedies for irregular periods yes if we uh, first and foremost is we need to look at factors which can lead to such kind of thing if you are not able to find anything which is pointing out towards the factors that i enumerated what you need to do is you need to check your weight you need to check your bmi how is your lifestyle this is the first thing uh, also keep a menstrual calendar record that how irregular it is and we need to know what actually does irregular mean so irregular cycle is that any cycle which happens less than 21 days or more than 35 days anywhere between 21 to 35 days is a normal cycle so we don't need to confuse that i have irregular cycles so lot of girls and women who come to us and they are disturbed that my cycle is delayed by 4 days or by 3 days or it 3 days comes before time but that is not an irregular cycle irregular cycle is clearly between less than 21 days to more than 35 days suppose you say that you bleed only 4 times a year and this is an irregular cycle this needs to be evaluated other than that if you are gaining weight or if you are losing too much weight so there are other factors which we need to see uh, then home remedy is a good option but first and foremost the clinical diagnosis or diagnosis based on some investigations is of prime importance what can cause short or light periods so uh, short period uh, or a light period light period means the flow is very less 
which uh, in our language we say it is called hypomenorrhea hypo means less and less of menstrual flow so for this also common reasons are polycystic ovaries which can lead to hypomenorrhea sometimes even oligomenorrhea other than that thyroid imbalance so 30% of women who have pcod also have thyroid dysfunction it can be hyper or hypo even uh, if we look at thyroid status overall among men and women women have more of thyroid dysfunction as compared to men and even women who have pcos also have high prolactin levels 30% of them have found to have high prolactin levels that is hyperprolactinemia so that needs to be ruled out sometimes women are taking anti anxiety anti psychotic medications that also leads to hypomenorrhea or maybe disturbed menstruation hypomenorrhea is just one part it can be associated with delayed cycle it can be associated with early cycles or it can be associated that uh, you have a history of tuberculosis that can also lead to this kind of hypomenorrhea you can have history of multiple dnc's that means the lining of uterus has been uh, curated so many times that hardly anything is left inside there are women who have small uteruses which is called hypoplastic uterus they will also have hypomenorrhea what would be termed as heavy periods so heavy period has two things one is that the amount of flow is more and another thing is that duration is more so we just discussed that duration should be between 3 to 5 days if your periods last more than 5 days maybe up to 10 days up to 15 days people don't turn up that it is lasting and we thought that it will stop on its own and it does not stop even the Uh, heavy heavy definition is very difficult to explain for some it is a normal flow and for some they will say even normal flow is heavy for them so heavy flow means that you are needing to change your pads maybe every 2 hours or your uh, pad which is of maybe extra large or maxi size and it gets fully soaked your clothes are soaked the place where you sleep gets soaked that is a heavy flow and there are many clots that keep coming heavy flow also means that you feel tired you feel weak and when you do your hemoglobin or a cbc analysis you have anemia that is called a heavy flow and we need to check for this heavy flow because even in india more than 51% of females are anemic and mostly the cause is menorrhagia or a heavy flow during cycle which is overlooked by many women